Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo Castaneda here. Today, let's go to paint this famous actor. The colors I'm going to use are Tachino White, Camion Yellow Hue, Yellow Ochre, Camion Red Hue, uh, Permanent Addition Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, and Ivy Black. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of black and white just to mark. I want to mark here my space for mixing the colors. You know that I use the same canvas as a palette. Okay, I'm gonna place the whole face here. It's gonna be around here, the top. And this is gonna be the chain. Okay, the first thing, the most important is always gonna be the center line. You can use your brush or the pencil. Let me turn out here. And I'm gonna see the position for the eyes around here. Eyes, the eyebrows, and from the eyebrows to the bottom of the chin, I do for the middle, that's gonna be for the nose. And from the nose to the chin, I do for the middle, that's gonna be for, it's gonna be for the, uh, the bottom of the lower lip. Okay, hello, uh, Bogdan, Bogdan, Gustavo, Sajar, Christine, Meiji, Bogdan Trevor, hello again, hello Michael, hello again. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is canvas. I just I applied a, a layer of uh, acrylic, gray, gray color. I just mix black and white. Okay. Now. I'm going to start just by adding blue and a little on a little bit of white. I'm going to work on top of this color with a skin color. It's going to be my limit. This is going to be the base. Now I'm going to prepare a skin color. I'm going to add this yellow ochre on red. Okay, I have this color. 
gonna play on top of this, okay? Just trying to see if I have enough paint. Now, uh, because I'm, I'm, I draw and I, I paint at the same time, uh, right now that I have all this, it's kind of a dark value. I'm just going to uh, follow the lights with this. I'm going to use a really small liner brush. This is a synthetic brush, number zero. It's, it's not visible anymore. I have a new one here, I think. You can see clearly the number. No, I don't have any one. I'm squinting my eyes, trying to just follow shapes, okay? I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Let's say I'm doing this. I'm following this, 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 and this. Can you see? If you squint your eyes, that would be so clear to see this, this, this. This shadow, shadow, that's going to be just like a uh, uh, like, uh, shape of darkness. Dark shapes, this, 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 this. And now, with this, I go, let's say, with the other direction, with lights. I follow just lights. When I get the color to get more, uh, let's say, mix with this color, I go and I do this, more of this back and forth, and I get a new, a new color between this and this. Okay, and if I just want just to keep the color, I just apply. I'm gonna leave it there. Well, maybe I'm gonna make just move the brush a little bit, but not a much. I don't pray, don't press that much. Okay. And from here it's gonna be about adjusting the colors. Adding more red, adding a little bit more of green, some variations here and there. But you know that this dark and this light on top that helps me right away with uh, values and volume.
Okay, I'm, I'm blending more here because I wanna keep more painting here, obviously, because the light source is coming from the left uh, up. And uh, there is always a recommendation when we paint, we can go with really thick paint and the whole painting, but it has to be more paint always on the lights, all this section. I'm gonna accumulate more paint here than here. Let's say that this middle part is gonna have more thicker paint than this part, okay? In a couple of brushes, this uh, two are for chrome. I don't stay too much in one part of the painting, not the eyes or the nose. I go like this on the eyes and now I'm gonna work to the nose because I need to see uh, always the painting as a whole. Yeah, since I'm painting and, and drawing at the same time, uh, that's necessary. I mean, if you start, let's say a painting and you project the image or trace the image, uh, that's gonna be different, yes? You're gonna stay just working on one eye, as much as you want, and then move to the other eye. Uh, but if you work like this, uh, you have to jump here and there because you're, I mean, and adjusting everything, little by little, and moving one eye a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Yes, I mean, it's too early uh, to, to be sure where is, everything is gonna be. Like you can see the nose is tilted like this and here's more, more like this and here's it's different yet. I have to adjust that little by little. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. There is, do you think the right side of his face is too white? Okay, Terry. Okay, yes, yeah, maybe, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I'm in the process of adjusting that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure right now there is a lot of mistakes. It's just like, it's like I have a uh, strong things, let's say, let's say on a table. Let's say there's a table. 
That's the face. I throw the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And now I'm gonna move them. Okay, I throw them just uh, trying to be kind of um, accurate. That's not possible to be so accurate at the beginning. And now I'm just uh, trying to find the right position for each feature of the face. Okay, from doing this, I'm trying to adjust my, uh, I, I squint my eyes and just see this. Can you see this shape here? This is something like this. Okay. And it go like this, just to the nose. Okay. And here there's a small triangle here. For this reflection, that helps me to deal with the, the width of this portion of the face. I'm not saying that that's going to be, I mean, a solution, but that helps. Okay. So you know, this is a process of adjusting, adjusting. It's not perfect yet, but I think that's something that I can start working from here. Now I'm going to apply more paint. Okay, I need another brush. This is kind of an or orangey color. It's just a uh, yellow ochre, at least I'm clean some white. And I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Just a little bit. I mean, I need to adjust the color. I don't want yet a really saturated color on the face. Let me see how it goes here. It looks too yellowish maybe. Mm, from here, let's, let's see if that works, okay? It could work because I'm working with this violet and yellow, obviously, is 
uh, the complementary contrast. We just want to create maybe more volume here. Oh, well, it's too, too, too early to, to decide that because I can go with maybe a more pinky approach too. Mixing both here to get kind of a neutral color. I think that could work too. Let's see, I'm planning to uh, work with this kind of uh, thickness just here, okay? And here too. So not, 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 not that much here because I mean, give me a little bit just here. Know that you need to add more red to some portion of the face. Remember that always. I mean, I go just simple. You to see my mixtures here. That's so simple. I mean, that, that doesn't have that much. I'm being worried just about uh, placing the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, getting some, getting some of the likeness kind of some closed because I'm planning to work more on top of this. Yes, and when I speak about this, it's about volume. Uh, keeping the shadows and uh, adding light. That if you have light mid-tones in shadows, that means you're working with volume. Now, when uh, uh, it came to think uh, games color, then I'm gonna start adding just something like this because we all have always a little bit of reddish here. A little bit of reddish here. And you can go even, you can exaggerate if you want. You know that this is gonna be a process of adjusting all of this. Sometimes I apply some greens, some reds, and at the end, uh, they almost disappear. And sometimes all of, all, some of them are very noticeable. It's just part of the process. I mean, just building something and see what is working and what is not working. When you keep some some some, some colors and you start just getting rid of other colors. Okay, I gotta clean just something here. Okay, I went, uh, you see this, I mean, the, the value here is, should be darker, you see here. I added just without thinking this, I, I shouldn't do that, I have to clean it. I have to keep this shadow here, okay. I can go with a uh, very thick paint, but if I, with this paint I go on the light, uh, that's gonna be a problem for me later because that means that I'm gonna add more and more and more paint just trying to change a value. And I mean, definitely I'm gonna change so many values, but no, not in that way that that's gonna be like dramatic changes. And when I make a mistake like this, then I go in an area that I shouldn't go with a darker or lighter color. I prefer just to clean out the part. I can do it with a piece of paper, I can, I can do it with my palette knife. It's gonna be better, okay? You just take up the paint, that's it. Now that I apply this, I'm gonna go and working on the drawing aspect of the painting again. Oh, thank you, Terry. <laughs> thank you so much. 
I prefer to use uh, a lot of brushes. I mean, since this is a uh, prima paint, I mean, one session, uh, I'm, I'm planning to finish this painting in just one session. I mean, cleaning out the brushes, it's gonna take me some time. And um, I don't wanna waste the time just cleaning the brushes. But it's not just because of that. I mean, just sometimes when I paint in so many layers, I, I usually use like, 10 or 15 brushes in one session. I just prefer to keep, uh, let's say, so many brushes for different colors. It is, this way I can come back to any one of them and I'm not mixing again or not looking for the color again on the palette. And sometimes I can jump uh, from here to here and I use a different brush that I have used it in that part. That, that helps a lot. I mean, that, that helps, helps me a lot with uh, the time.
Hello, B. Bio Sabella, thank you. Guillermo, thank you. Hello, Dita. Okay, I'm stepping back just to see. Maybe I can look the wrong way. Let's continue. I was okay. Uh, Bio Sabella is, is around brass your favorite for this size uh, paint. Mm. Uh, mm. I mean, I prefer this uh, because I, I mean, I start with, with some, sometimes some flat or round bigger brushes, but I prefer this because I'm kind of drawing and painting at the same time, and this is perfect for the drawing aspect. I'm gonna blend the paint a little bit. Okay, Michael Harris, do you agree that as a painter, as a painter you can never get it perfect? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I try all the time, I try to get the likeness. That's something that I always try to do it. And I wanna say that I, um, I get it all the time. Uh, besides that, uh, colors, I always uh, look for, change the colors a little bit. Yes, I mean, sometimes, uh, sometimes you find images that are just amazing and perfect, and we just want to copy them, just just to copy exactly those images. But in this case, you can see this image is just it's just like one color uh, that's going to dark and light, and that's not gonna be okay uh, for a painting. I mean, that's what I think. I mean, that's not that's my opinion. Yes, I prefer to have a little bit of colors, and uh, but nothing is is like absolute. Nothing is like uh, it's gonna be like that all the time. I mean, because I have some paintings that I've been just so worried about the likeness, and uh, I'm getting this all this flat yeah? <laughs> And uh, I end up with some painting that something like like, like this, like has just one color going to the dark, to the shadow and to the light. I mean, I mean, we try to do, we try to do things, but we we not we not we not always succeed succeed in what we plan. But anyway, I mean, at the end is uh, everything is about trying. I think because painting is something like, uh, I don't know, I feel like this is like a living thing that it move and uh, we try to control this. Yes, and, and sometimes we can't, we cannot do it. But I, I always thinking about uh, color theory, thinking about um, the harmony, mostly harmony, yes, because color theory is, is about harmony. It's not about mixing colors. Mixing colors is the beginning, it's the, 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 ver the very beginning. It's not about anyway about, about mixing here and matching here, like perfectly, perfectly mixing, mixing, mixing to get a perfect match. It's not about that. It's about, uh, for me, it's about trying to get, um, let's say, uh, sometimes a, cl a classical approach. I, I, I would love to see my paintings uh, and feel like they have like something like, uh, I don't know how to say it, how to put it that. It's like you, you I, were, uh, I was watching something like uh, an old painting. It's a classical approach. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I, I like. That's what I want to, to get. Okay. So I go again here. Because you know, this is going to be a, a I think you may maybe spend three hours in this painting. And that's gonna be a process you're gonna see about adjusting, adding light, blend, adding more light, blend. Sometimes but I, I, I over blend and I lost volume. I have to add, add more paint.
Now I'm gonna leave the, the color aspect just for a minute. I'm gonna go back and thinking about drawing. And I, I go back to my liner brush. Oh my god. Take me a minute, okay? Hello. Estoy ocupado ahora. Sí, estoy ocupado ahora mismo. Sí, acabo de empezar. Sorry about that. That was that's my wife. I mean, you know that I have to answer. Sorry about that. You know that my family doesn't care about if I'm painting or not. <laughs> you know, if you see my videos, you're going to find my, my son that is uh, he's asking me things while I'm making the live stream. And then, I mean, like... Yeah. What can I do? I mean, I mean that's life. <laughs> okay, let's let's get back because I mean uh, I, I got distracted for a little bit. I want to put my wife on the, on the speaker one of, one of these days. <laughs> then you can hear, uh, I want to put them when, maybe when she, she's, maybe one day that she's mad and she's kind of screaming. And you can laugh out loud. Because sometimes I <laughs> make it a, a video and she called me and then I said, oh, I'm making a video. I don't care what you're doing. I mean, I need this. You gotta help me out with this. But I, I'm live, I'm making a live stream. I mean, 1,000 people are watching me right now. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, let's continue. Again, I think a little bit more of red to the nose, of course, always. There's always the nose is always half a little bit more of red. But my wife, that's the one that helps me out a lot. I mean, sometimes she called me just to tell me, oh my God, you're doing, I mean, one night too big. And I say, what? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I can pay attention to that detail because she has just a keen eye, just like, uh, I don't know, she walks just by my side. Just, it's like, uh, she see my painting just one second and she said something like, oh, one, this eye is bigger than the other one. I say, what? And that's, she's right, I mean. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, okay. What is, I mean, I'm thinking about this drawing aspect, like I said. Let 
Mixed in Black, Alicia and Tinson, a, a, a little bit of yellow ochre, uh, to have like a burnt, burnt amber. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes, Michael, yes. <laughs> My Wi Fi. Yes, that's right, Trevor Tita. She's the most important person in your life. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, you're right, Tita. <laughs> Hello, Cornelia. What kind of color you use? What kind of color? The brand is Winton. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, where I was, I mean, I was thinking about this, uh, this portion of the eye. See, this color is too warm for deception. Uh, uh, this part, I mean, I gotta just, uh, because you gotta think always about uh, saturation and how uh, warm or cool is a color. I mean, the portrait is not that noticeable, but we should think always a little bit about that. Because let's say if I go too warm with this light, uh, that's gonna pop up this part too much. And I don't want that. I mean, I mean, the, the accents are here. I mean, not here. And you can see, I can see right now that this light is too warm. I just got, have to kill down this color a little bit. Let's see, I'm adding a little bit of gray. Uh, maybe it's too gray, I'm gonna add a little bit of red. So that's, that's part of the process, okay? You gotta just add a little bit of one color, a little bit of the other color. You gotta keep uh, something in mind. The nose have to be more, uh, a little bit more saturated than the colors here, because that's the only way they have to pop up the nose. Okay? You gotta control that. Is something that you want to pop up more. This saturation, it should be different than this saturation here, okay? Even a little bit, but it should be different. It's not about putting the same color, okay? That's a difference between this color here and this color here. There's a difference between this color and this color. It's not just about making it a color darker or, or lighter. It's about changing the saturation of the color. Okay. <laughs> because I mean, um, your husband always comes during here the pink layers. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's uh, something this. In your opinion, what color brand is, is important? Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, I cannot suggest maybe the, the expensive ones because, to be honest, I, I, I haven't used expensive, like expensive, expensive paintings. And, and I, I, uh, the only maybe more expensive painting that I have ever used was Rembrandt. Okay. It was good, it was really good. Yeah, and, but uh, let, let me put in some weight. I mean, that would be uh, for thinking about how, la how, how much time is gonna last the painting, yes? For so many years. 
but for the process, process is like, let's say you put a, a really expensive color here, a yellow or a red is really vibrant, it's amazing. The pigment is amazing. I mean, definitely I'm not gonna use the red in a portrait. Maybe for another painting it's gonna be so useful, of course. But for a portrait, it's gonna knock down that red in order to use in a, por in a, in a portrait. And, you know, I'm telling you that you're, gonna not, not, you're not gonna notice uh, in a portrait if you have to use maybe expensive or cheap oil paints because the colors in a portrait always are mute, mostly are mute. And if you go with uh, some skin color, this has more, more saturation. It's not gonna be like you put like a uh, on compare compare any any painting that you see that have oh my god the skin is so bright something like that. You put just any yellow on orange, compare it. The yellow on orange is gonna be so strong. It's, I mean, you're gonna notice that you're, you what you're seeing is just in, a, in effect on the harmony. That uh, what what it makes just pumping up some colors. But it's not, it, it's not because of the brand. It's just because of how the painter just managed the harmony of the colors. It's not just because the, I mean, you have used a, a 1000 tube of paint and the other one have used a $10, $10 tube of paint. It's not about that, okay? I mean, that about the price is gonna make a difference. I mean, how it's gonna last the painting. Definitely, if you uh, if you wanna buy very expensive paintings, I mean that's okay. I will do that. If I will have a lot of money, I will have maybe the more expensive paints because I want my paintings to last, like maybe at least for one hundred years. Who knows? But you don't. We don't. We're not gonna see that at the moment. Okay, we're not gonna see a difference at the moment. I mean, that's what I think, okay? Yes, I mean, in a, in another, in, in, a, in, a, in a landscape, maybe that's gonna be another case. If you're painting a landscape, maybe an, a, a vibrant pigment, that's gonna make a difference. In that case, it, yes, I could say, yeah, go and uh, buy a uh, very expensive, because it's gonna make a difference. Now, portrait, is, that's not gonna happen. I speak, I speak specifically an important skin color. If you have like a human figure with so many things, that's different. I mean, more than thinking about uh, what materials to buy, maybe the expensive one, the cheapest one. Obviously, don't buy the cheapest ones, yes. And I will say, if you have a lot of money, you just go with the expensive one, definitely. But uh, in my case, I will just go with um, regular, regular prices. And uh, because I know that, uh, that's not gonna make like a huge difference to my paintings. It's like, uh, that happened to me because, uh, I mean, that happened to me when I was a student, I was trying to look in for answers in the colors, I mean, buying different colors. I always, uh, the other day I, 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 I told a story when I was a teenager and, and I went to a museum here and I saw a painting I really like with vibrant yellow. And I went back home so fast because the museum is really close here to where I live. And uh, I painted something and I tried to get that yellow. I mean, that was something amazing for me. And I didn't get it. 
It was, oh my God, I, I, went, I went again. I went back to the museum. I see again the color. And I, came, I went back to home and I started to paint again. And it was like, I don't remember the painting. It was like, a, I don't remember. But I didn't get it again. And at the end, I thought, oh my God, that's, I mean, those pigments at that time, they have different paints. I have just my chips, oil paints. That's, that's, that's it. That's what I thought. Okay. But n n now I know that, that that's not the answer. Okay. I was just looking in the wrong place. But what's the answer? The answer to this is for me that I, I, had, I, I didn't have any experience. I just went and I saw, let's say, that yellow that impressed me a lot. Uh, but I didn't saw the colors around that yellow. That yellow color was so vibrant because it was surrounded by, by blues and violets and all of those colors. And I didn't look for that. And that's color harmony. That's not mixing colors. They're not looking for one specific specific color or pigment or something like that. Yeah. Now every time that I see a color that is amazing, obviously the first thing I do is. I look around, I see what are the colors around those colors. Those, that's where I'm gonna find the answer. That's where I'm gonna understand what, kind, what harmony the painter is using. But then for me, one thing about painting, and not, not painting portraits, about painting anything, it's about the color harmony. The color harmony is something that takes a lot of time to, to, to master. And for me, I, I'm just, I can say, I, I, I'm just in the process to learn that. Okay, I use Musini, Javat set, use Musini. I, I didn't know that brand. Oh, Dita, you have a lot of paint. Got from this from the Royal Talents factory. Oh, that's that's really good. That's awesome. Okay, that's that's good.
Okay, don't go dark the nostrils. I always use a uh, mix. I mix a uh, alizarin crimson and cadmium red. It looks really dark. I never add like black or or even a uh, bar umber. If I if you see that it's really dark, dark. It's just a little increase on the lawn. And adding a little bit of this color. Just kind of greenish, ochreish color, because I mean, I have, in, I'm, I'm working this section, and this portion has to be a little bit of grayish or, or greenish color. Okay. Oh, Mussini. Oh. Okay, can you hear me? Because I got a notification that kind of uh, I lost the connection. Somebody can say, can tell me, please, if you can hear me. Okay, thank you, Eros. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. I got a notification that I, I, everything just got freezed.
Here you can see every time that I blend, it just, it, I lost this. Uh, but I mean, it's not like, uh, that's okay. I mean, that happens to me all the time because I, I just, uh, I love blending and I love at the same time, sometimes get this kind of thickness, but not all over the painting, yes, just on the lights. She's going to be always a little bit of green. Here's, here's kind of orangey, this color, uh, greenish, I think, this. I can add a more saturated color a little bit here. Okay, this color is more grayish, a little bit, this is more saturated. And that what, what makes that creates more volume. It brings it a little bit forward to us. Okay. That means that this color, it doesn't matter that it's light, you have to reset and this has to pop up. And that's when you need to add more saturation, saturation than more like lightness. But this is just if you want to be just like really, uh, I don't know, pay attention to color theory like, like a crazy. If you don't do this, that's, that's going to be okay anyway. If you always res respect values. As no, no, I'm not saying that this is it's not going to add. It's going to add. Even that little tiny thing 
is going to add something to the body. Okay? Even a little bit, but sometimes I, I just think about that. It's just uh, really, I mean, I pay attention every time that I mix to do that everywhere to turn down the color, to saturate the color a little bit, to cool down, to warm up the color a little bit, all over the face, sometimes, okay? Not always, because uh, sometimes I just forget about that and just go relaxed and I just pay attention to values and that's okay. But 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 let me, let me tell you that every time that you analyze a master painting, you're gonna you're gonna find out this. They for sure that's 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 one of the reasons they are really masters. They pay attention to every detail. Even that slight or oh, oh, this your subtle variation. It has something. It has a difference, and it's, it's not. It's not. It's not casual. It's not an accident. The difference is never an accident. Yes. Uh, it's, it, I mean, you're gonna get there without even thinking sometimes. But it's something like this. Uh, this is lighter. This is darker. I mean, it's gonna be the darker. It's gonna be cooler or what? It's gonna be grayer. Cooler, what do you choose? And at the same time, it should be transparent because it's a skin color. Yeah, it should be. Speaking about that, <laughs> I gotta add a little bit of color here to make it this one, a little bit transparent because that, that dark shadow like this here in the image doesn't work sometimes. Sometimes it works in a painting, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we need some transparency in the shadows. Okay. And remember when we speak about warm and cool colors, and there is not always like a such that's that difference, like uh, the lights are warm and the shadows are cool. No, the, the shadows are cool and warm at the same time, okay? Because always remember when we uh, study color theory, when we study uh, how the lights create form, we study how the, the how the lights, uh, we study, I mean, I mean, the light temperature, yes, the, temp the shadow temperature and the reflected light. The reflected light is the key to understand how lights go around any object and change temperature everywhere. What I'm doing here is adjusting this. You see that I have a kind of orangey color and adding this gray color on top of that. Let's see how that works. If that works okay, perfect, because this color is going to the shadow. I mean, there are some rules that that's just like a nightmare, but we are kind of trying to find a balance between the color, the color harmony on the face, everywhere, yeah? Temperature, and always study the reflected light. The reflected light is like everything. For me, it's like the key to understand how lights create form. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I, I haven't read the. Oh, you're speaking about uh, brands. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, be observed. You're gonna start using more greens. Okay, that's 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 okay. That's cool. Okay, now I'm going to again fix the drawing aspect of the painting. I'm going to add a little bit of cer uh this is cerulean blue. Oh, I gotta do a, a, a how do you say when you uh, I gotta say thank you, especially I gotta thank to my new pa patrons. Okay, let me let me look for the patrons. Let me look for the patrons. I always forget to do the shout outs. Okay. Uh special thank you to Brenda Minson, to Christopher White Moore, and to Lipa. Oh, sure, mayor, sir. Something like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue. Mm.
and doing this and cleaning the brush. It's just like moving painting from here to the eyebrow. Okay. And I'm going to blend here. Okay, I'm gonna just light up this shadow a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud.
if you want to paint along with the video, uh, the link to the image is in the description box. I'll make some more pink color. A little bit more here. Okay. Thank you, Joyce. Okay. I had an old black and white photo of my mother from the 50s. And I tended to paint this foreign color and painting from memories. Do you have any advice for me? Wow. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Watch my videos. <laughs> I have like three or four videos where I paint from a black and white image. I'm pretty sure those videos I can get, get uh, you can have uh, an idea about. I mean, it's gonna help you a little bit yes, uh, how I how I mix the colors. from a black and white image. What I was. Uh, another, another way that would be uh, making a grisai. And on top of that, working with glazes. Basically, that would be an uh, orangey colors on top of the grisaille. 
I think that would be the most simple way to to get the skin color. And look for another references, yes? Like another another photos from the family. Kind of to copy the skin color. Little by little, I'm trying to get some details. Uh, always afraid to make people older because when we overdo these things about looking for details from these subtle shadows and all of that, mitons, sorry, so those, these mitons that happen to me all the time that I end up making people a little bit older. a shadow here, something like this.
yes, I love those videos. Uh, okay, that's the really, that's exactly what I do. Uh, yes, yeah. Oh yes, like Sita, like Dita says, you can use Photoshop too. Yes, Javad, what is your favorite old master? I mean, uh, there are so many, so many of them. I mean, uh, it's kind of difficult to really to say, to mention just one. Yes, I mean, there are so many, so many. Uh, uh, I remember, I mean, one that uh, I mean, I mean, let let me think. I mean, one I always just uh, loved a lot is Vermeer. Okay. Mm. trying to make these wrinkles here on the forehead. Another one is Jean Battista Tiepolo. Yeah, I'm using, uh, let's say this color is for the light part. I just green down this color and I apply this here. And I blend.
Michael, you finish your painting. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> You always apply here a uh, glycerin crimson, pure glycerin crimson. No black, no uh, amber. Looks dark because I mean, glycerin crimson is really dark. Hello, Mar. Hello, Mary. Okay, I'm checking out everywhere uh, values. I'm squinting my eyes a lot. I'm trying to see if I change maybe some color here or there, here or there. I'm gonna make it more grayer or make more warmer.
Oh, uh, Jafat. No, I don't use any medium, just pure or paint. Yes, Michael. I just wanted to add more paint to this one. Sometimes I have some of them I use, uh, I just add more paint. In others, I just make more, more uh, softness. I soft more the layer, I blend more. Uh, do you critique? Uh, uh, do you, uh, yes, uh, yes, sometimes. Yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, I have a, a group of, uh, I have a group class, like uh, use of 10 students. And I mean, it's in Spanish, and I'm thinking about an opening. Uh, a new group of uh, a class group in English, maybe next month, maybe not so sure. It's gonna be just for it's just for painting together. It means ten people and me. We all paint the same image, and by soon in this way we see each other how we are painting, and I critique each each one, and I give a little bit of advice and the class, each class is uh, four hours, for four hours, once a week for one month. So I mean four classes, in each, each class we paint one portrait. Okay. As soon as I, uh, I make uh, the promotion, in my web website, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start promoting the classes here in my channel. It's more like a class, it's something like this. We paint, but, but the, the difference is we paint together. I mean, just 10, ten people, let's ten, ten, say 10, let's say 10 students <laughs> and, and, and me. Yes, we all paint together. I mean, up to 10, it could be five, it could be, it depends, yes. And we will paint together and I critique each work and we continue painting. And that's it, I mean, until we finish, it's about four hours. Sometimes a class is, uh, the last class I had, it was like five hours, but that's okay for me. I mean, it's not like, it doesn't have to be exact. 
it you know, depends. Yes, it depends, I mean, how we paint. And then we go, it's four hours because we go really slow, really slow. We, we make a lot of pauses. Yes, and, and usually I paint, uh, let's say, 20 minutes and I stop for five, 10 minutes. And then I paint another 20 minutes and I stop for five, 10 minutes. And that's it uh, until we finish the class. And in one class, it's all four classes. One class is about just, uh, it's just painting the portrait, yeah, okay? But, but I just explain a lot about drawing, just drawing, 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 drawing. I just like the four hours, you just paying attention to drawing. And then the next class is paying attention to color harmony, to mixing the colors, okay? The next class is about value, just paying attention to value. Then you know that we put all those together in every time that we paint a portrait. So I try to separate them, at least to try to explain uh, that part in each class, okay? And at the end, um, uh, we paint one portrait very soft without any impasto. The other one is going to be very more expressive, more with more visible brush strokes. And, but not like this one. Uh, the idea is uh, keep it just not, not like this thick, okay? Just here, like this. Just like this portion. Okay? And just because to control, because we don't, we all, uh, we don't have the same level. We are not even on the same level. Uh, no? I mean, even like even like uh, the same level. And and that's uh, that's why for some people is kind of difficult to manage too much paint. Yes, and for other people it's just naturally they they just love to manage a lot of paint. But in order to let's say practice. We have to reduce the amount of paint just to pay attention to, let's say, to drawing or to color harmony, to mixing the colors or value and not, and not deal with um, the, I mean, the, the, the thing about modeling with paint. Yes, and all the students, they, they start with just, uh, they trace the drawing, trace the drawing. And this way they don't worry about, uh, about just drawing and, and spending maybe 20, 30 minutes, one, an hour trying to get a nice drawing. And then we will start just right to paint. Okay. Okay. Oh, my support is uh, it's canvas. You can see how it moves. It's canvas, it stretches in, stretches parts. Oh, Joyce, okay. Okay, okay. I'm planning to do maybe next next month. Next month, let's see. Okay, let's see. If... Four hours is what they give portrait artists of the year. Okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> yes, I mean, because I mean, I just spent usually two hours, three hours in a live stream. Right now, for me, that's okay. I can just, uh, let's say, uh, finish this painting. It's been like two hours. So let's say I spent the same time. No, no, I spent four hours making this same portrait. The extra two hours that was gonna be for all the pauses, all going really slow. And this way, uh, in this way, uh, you can follow me and uh, because it's kind, it's really difficult for somebody just paint and follow someone at the same time, somebody at the same time. Okay, that's why uh, I go really slow and make a lot of pauses. I go to drink a coffee. I left my the students just there. <laughs> And that's really nice. I mean, I've been doing these classes in Spanish for more, uh, almost like uh, four months, each month.
I'm going to do it to do thing in English now. The price that would be like, uh, it's going to be something like this. Sundays, Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Four hours Sunday, Saturday, four hours Sunday. And that would be just, in the next week, the same. Saturday and Sunday, and that's it, four classes. Four classes, four, hour, four hours each, each class, and everything for $100. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know if the price is too high or the price is too low. Oh, Merva, I'm trying to meet you in my, my husband brought this to her. I need to more and more practice. Okay, that's, <laughs> okay, that's good, uh, Merva. Oh, Michael. Oh, sounds good. Uh, oh, you have football, football coaching. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> ah, and uh, the classes are going to be recorded. I'm going to keep the classes just, uh, I'm going to up, uh, upload the classes to my YouTube channel in private. Yes, and then you can access to the classes, I mean, um, forever, yeah? I mean, that's going to be there, just you can access to the classes anytime you want. You're going to have the link. That's it, you can even download it uh, from YouTube. Yeah, because I mean, so the, the, mostly um, yeah, some, some people just, they want to paint more. I mean, they repeat uh, sometimes the portrait. And they need to see the video, yeah? That's the only way. Oh, there is no charge or price for seeing the recording videos. I mean, that's just part, it's just part of the package of the class, okay? I think, I think I'm getting to the end. Yeah. Oh, to here.
Just thinking what else to do, what else need to maybe some light here, some reflection over here, over there. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, what is, okay. Oh, welcome to Sketchy Characters. Thank you. Thank you, Tita. <laughs> I put a cap over his face. <laughs> Okay, Kimberly Christie, they paint, yeah, they used to paint daily. Mm -hmm. I've been doing like uh, making live streams, not daily, but like three, four days in a row, and then I stop for a couple of days. And then again, three, four or five days in a row, then I stop two, three days. Mm. Tomorrow is Saturday, tomorrow I have my group class and I'm going to paint tomorrow. Okay, it's time to go, I think. Because I, I mean, if I continue looking for more things to fix, or, or maybe I'm going to just to blend, over blend the paint, maybe too much. I'm going to make him maybe too old. Yeah. Dita, okay. Oh, yes, you don't like the. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just love to apply this thick paint some areas of the portrait. Sometimes, sometimes I go, I go just so soft. Yeah, sometimes kind of the middle. The thickest paint that uh, I have painted was this one of the. Uh, I don't remember his name. Oh my god. The. This guy, the Rolling Stones, Jagger, Mick Jagger. On that painting, I apply maybe the double the amount of paint on that portrait. Yes, because I mean, because of his face, because of his wrinkles, it was okay. I mean, it feels it create the illusion of uh, the, the the age. Yes, but in this case, because when I paint. A woman usually I don't go with that thick because with that thick paint because you know I, I prefer it to go soft. But it's a matter it's a, mat, a matter of taste, like you said. I mean, it's personal. So you can, yeah. The idea about practicing uh, is that we can just be able to manage a lot of a lot of paint uh, at the same time, very thin paint. Uh, we have to be able to do that because there are people that naturally they can manage a lot of pain, thick paint. And there are people that they cannot, they just go with almost no paint on the canvas. Yes, and we we gotta be able to choose uh, to switch, let's say to switch from one way to the other. Uh, um, at least we, we we should try to choose to go thicker or thinner with paint. Yes, uh, but uh, I mean, for me, in my case, I have seen paintings that, I mean, they have a double, triple this, this amount of paint. I'm not gonna be able myself to go to that extreme. Yes. And maybe one day I will try. I mean, that was, but that, that thing about painting a portrait and trying to get the likeness. It means we're trying to get some con to get some control, and a lot of paint means that we are, we gotta control that amount of paint and control that uh, that amount of paint while you are trying to get the likeness, values, and all of that. That's kind of difficult. We gotta get to that some point that we we are gotta, we are just comfortable, just managing just everything at the same time. <laughs> 
drawing proportions, likeness, values, color, and the amount of paint that we are applying on the canvas. Yes, we have to find our, uh, the balance, okay? But at the same time, we should push ourselves a little bit, maybe, to try. Uh, if we paint with a little amount of paint, we try to push ourselves to apply more paint, and vice versa, just, just to, to be able to control. I mean, when I was a teacher a couple of years ago, years ago, I used to, to paint on some portion. I mean, let's just say this is one of my students' portrait. I used to go and paint a little bit here or maybe a little bit here or one eye maybe, just that. But the students, not all of them use the same amount of paint and they have to kind of change. And then when I went to one student that he using too much, almost nothing of paint, I have to do that the same. When I go to another student and he, he has a lot of paint, I have to do that to match what this student is doing what he's doing, I mean, I'm not gonna say, no, no, you're using too much, I don't use too much paint. I'm gonna correct just you and you, because you use the same amount of paint that I use. No, that's, uh, that's not an option for me as a teacher. I gotta just adapt myself to the student. And uh, I mean, I love to, that's something that we shouldn't do that. I mean, my, my wife, she has studied to be a teacher and she tells me all the time, don't touch your students' paintings. Don't touch them, okay? We don't do that. We don't do that. But I love to do that because I, 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 I sometimes I'm not able to explain things like fully explain explain things, and I I prefer just sometimes to show how to do it. Again, you gotta do it this way. I show, I show how to do it, and I feel like is. It could be better for some people, maybe for not 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 to all of not to all. Because some people just learn by watching. Just people learn just in different ways. Yes. <laughs> okay. I got oh, better, better material. Yes. <laughs> you make me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. I gotta go. So, I mean, I'm just speaking and, and just going around the paint, the painting, checking out because I just, you know what I planned in the live stream to be like three hours. And it's been two hours and a half. And I feel like I have some time for making some maybe corrections. But at the same time, I'm afraid to do, to overdo things. And at the end, instead of fixing, just ruined the paint. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to buy a beer too. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, no, I'm just keeping the thickness of the paint here, uh, Dita, not here. And just uh, because this is more light here than here. Yeah. Just, uh, just like let's say this is uh, my focal point. I mean, in the face, usually the focal point are the eyes always. So let's say they imagine that this is a, let's say, a, a still life. Where are the focal points here? Okay, then, then you, you add more, uh, your focal point, you add more paint, you add more uh, contrast, uh, more color, all of that, yeah? And it's not the same in, in the portrait, but let's, I mean, just making, I'm making that comparison just to explain that. And I'm not gonna make, oh, because that's gonna be difficult to see, I mean, for me, this kind of impasto all over the face. I prefer something that I can just see here and then go smooth here. And maybe almost nothing of paint here. You can see here, there's not, no, no, not too much paint. Speaking about the neck, I'm gonna fix the neck.
Okay. Oh, exactly, Michael, same with coaching. All players learn different ways. Yes, it's exactly the same, yeah. Hello, Crisalida, how are you? Okay. okay. Okay, I think that's it. Yes. Yeah, you're right, Dita. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay, okay. Maybe not.
<clears throat> okay. I, I gotta go now. Yes, I mean, uh, I, I, I start to see so many things, so many, many small details. I, I, I know for sure that I'm not gonna be able to fix all the things that I see. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's difficult to go. Difficult, so difficult to let it go, to let it go. That's it. Thank you so much. Take care. See you next week. Okay. Yes, Bill, uh, uh, Isabella. Yes, that's right. It's so difficult to know. Yeah. Okay, bye, take care, bye.